I guess they're already selling those Michio-kun figures. Looks like rounding them all up was worth it. Huh? Hold up, that's not Ono Michio! This is a goddamn Ono Michi hoax! Look, isn't he cute? Ono Michio is all the rage in class. Hey, doesn't Michio-kun have Ono Michi ramen on his head? This is Udon, isn't it? Udon ramen, what's the difference, Michi? Just get out your Michi money. Hironaka needs to hear about this right now. Yes, Hironaka speaking. Yo, it's me, Kasuga. Oh, it's Michio Master Kasuga-san. Thank you for the other day. Is something the matter? Actually, yeah. I just found a guy selling fake Michio merch on the street. What? Did you really? Yeah. He's over by the Taiyo Gate in Chinatown. He's selling knockoffs in a fake Michio costume. A fake costume, you say? Understood. I'll be there as soon as I get ready. Get ready? Weird. I guess I should keep an eye on this clown until Hiro Naka shows up. an orange? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's more or less an orange, Mitchie! <laughs> it's Mitchie-kun! Mitchie-kun, Mitchie-kun! What's that? Busy here. They're in the way. Get lost. Hey. <laughs> Michio could hit me. Come on, come on. Take a look at my wares, Michi. I've got rare Michio figures for cheap, Michi. That son of a bitch. Pulling crap like that and calling himself Michio. I can't take this shit anymore. I'm taking this jerk down a peg. Wait, Kasuga-san. Hey, Hironaka. That guy just hit a kid at... Oh, shit! You are Hironaka, right? I am Hironaka, but I am also not Hironaka. I am Ono Michio, brought to life by my rage for this nefarious imposter. He not only sells fake Michio-kun figures, but he misuses Michio-kun's precious name and makes children cry! Unforgivable! As Michio's producer, I will become the true Ono Michio and bring this swindler to justice! Hey, that costume looks kind of loose on you. You sure it's your size? It just means I'll have to fill the empty space with my love for Michio-kun! <clears throat> Here I go! Excuse me, Miss Michi, but you shouldn't be buying a fake Michio-kun from someone like him! What? Two Michio-kuns? He's not Ono Michio, he's Phony Michio! Huh? Who the hell are you? Ask me for my name and I'll give it to you, Michi. With my charming Hasaku face! Steamy Onomichi ramen hat! Cute fish pouch! Cool boots! Vital for any fisherman! 
and my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right, I'm the pride of Ono Michi. Ono Michio! Cease this greedy business and take your fake Michi merch with you. Uh... Huh? What do you want about? The real Ono Michio would never show his face here. Uh, huh? You're costing me business. Hey guys, get rid of this asshole. Oh shit. Is he gonna be okay? Oh, um, uh, just a meaty moment here. Well, why don't we have a debate instead? I once got fourth place in a competition in Onomichi. Like we'd waste our time with that shit. Get the hell out of here with that crummy outfit! Uh, wait! Ow! Oh, stop! Stop! Oh, no! Yunaka! Hey, you all right? Stay with me. Yunaka, you went through all that just to protect Michio's reputation. Yeah, and that suit was hanging off you. I'm sure that didn't help. <laughs> you look pretty cool marching over there like that. Just leave the rest to me. I'll protect you and the people of Onomichi. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Come to get your ass beat again? No, actually. I'm here to take your business Onomichi out. What's that? You scam people with fake merch. You make kids cry. And you don't know a damn thing about Michio. I'd say it's about time someone taught you a lesson. <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from a guy who just got the shit kicked out of him. This shit is easy money, and it's working. So we aren't stopping until it dries out. You're just some dopey mascot trying to play the hero, but you're gonna wish you hadn't. Guess we're past talking then. I might be just a dopey mascot, but I'm not dopey enough to let you soil the good name of Ono Michi. <laughs> Keep talking. All right, boys. Hey, let's murder somebody. Yeah! Let's do this together! Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Initiate it! 
You're gonna Let's get go. stomped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because in the end, you guys are all just fake. I'm strong because I got the hopes and dreams of Onomichi on my side. Without that, you'll never beat me, no matter how many times you try. So go. <gasps> if you know anyone else making fakes like this, tell them they better stop. Tell them if they keep this shit up, Onomichio is gonna suit up and Onobichio all of you. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. I'm sorry. Oh, right. Hironaka. Hironaka, you okay? Yes. Uh, I'll be all right. Uh, more importantly, please take care of them, Ichio kun. Them? Oh. Okay, um... Michio knew he could take those punks down, guys! Wow! Michio Kun beat the fake! Huh? He's so cool! Oh, yeah, I've heard about this before. Michio Kun once took down a gang of neighborhood punks. Incredible! I bet he let himself get beat that first time so he could trick those guys into lowering their guard. Um... Michio-kun? Thanks for coming to see if I was okay. That made me really happy. <laughs> oh, yeah? So, um, your special pose. Could you do it again? Oh, I want to see it too. I didn't really get to see it last time. <laughs> me too! Yeah, okay. Here I go. Look out now. With my charming Hasaku face, steamy Onomichi ramen hat, cute fish pouch, cool boots, vital for any fisherman, and my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right, I'm the pride of Onomichi. Ono Michi! Yay! Big you kun Thank you very much for helping me out. I feel so relieved to see those fakers put in their place. Even the people of this city were on board with buying the merch from the official shop too. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Really? Hey, good to hear. You took a pretty good beating back there. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. It'll take a lot more than that to put me down. That said, uh, I don't think that faker is the last of them. If we let them run wild, I'm sure another one will pop up somewhere else. That's why I'm going to keep fighting these fakers. My love for Michio-kun is stronger than anything they could ever throw at me. <laughs> Damn straight. By the way, how long do I have to keep wearing this thing? I'm sweating my ass off in here. Please, uh, just a, a bit longer. We're here. Hey, this is a souvenir shop. Why do we come here? Actually, they've kindly allowed us to sell Onomichi merchandise here. I figured since you were already wearing the costume, I'd take a picture of Michio-kun here and post it on the blog. 
Oh, so you're using me, huh? You sneaky bastard. Oh, well. I appreciate your being so understanding. Thank you for everything. And with that, I'm off to update the vlog. Until we meet again, Kasuga-san. Yeah, good luck. Guess that's that. Huh? Wait, what do I do about this costume? Hey, Michio-kun! Let's play! Let me ride on your shoulders! Got it. Okay. Do 
まで行かれますか。そうですか。また。それでは。
Go. Hi. Hi. Takasan, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to help. Putting yourself on the line to save me. I owe you my life. Nah, don't mention it. I couldn't abandon my bro, could I? Besides, I didn't do anything. Kasuga-san's the one who helped you. It's him you should be thanking. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. Why do all this for someone you've never met? Who knows? Maybe I just wanted to show off in front of the kid who reminded me of my old self. Couldn't really tell you. My purple Kaiser bros! Takasan! Sorry. I guess we weren't much help. To hell with that! We made it back in one piece, that's what matters. You mean barely in one piece? You look like shit, man. Yeah, and Kasuga-san looks like a bomb went off in his face. Appreciate you stepping in back there. Yo, I always look like this. I... Wait, are you screwing with me? Wasn't it obvious? <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot. There's something I want to tell you guys. And what's that? It's in regard to our new friend Ichiban here. I'm thinking about making him the honorary president of the Purple Kaisers. Ooh, neat. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> no, hold up a sec. I never said I'd... Just because you'll be our honorary president doesn't mean we expect you to stick around. It's just that we're all here now thanks to you. So we wanted to have something to remember you by. Guess that's a bit much, huh? Nah, that's cool with me. Oh, and you're more than welcome to go riding with us anytime. We'll even have a bike ready for you. You know, I think I'll pass. Uh, okay. But I'm good with being an honorary president, so long as it's only a title. Kasuga-san. All right then, it's settled. Our honorary president is the great Kasuga-san. Don't worry. You can leave the presidential duties to me. Yeah! 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 Kasuga san, thanks again for helping us. There's no way we could ever repay you, but please, accept this as a way of showing our gratitude. You don't have to repay me. I'm the one who stuck his nose into your business. <laughs> Modest till the end. I guess that's a sign of true strength, huh? Very well, then. I'll follow you until I draw my last breath, Kasuga-san! Huh? Call me up anytime you need something. 
We'll come riding in no matter where or when. It's our duty to protect our honorary president. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you when that time comes. Leave it to us. Junpei, try not to rear end any more Yakuza from now on, all right? I won't! I'll be more careful! Well, we should get going then. Kasuga-san, you take care. Yeah. Take care, Mr. President. Putting your life on the line for your brother, huh? Maybe now I can say I'm just like the boss. Nah. <laughs> I still got a ways to go. Can I help you? Which exam would you like to take?
Yo, Sachan. Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Listen to this. What's up? Oh, is it about Nanoa? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um, well... Not good, huh? Gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. I just couldn't find the right thing to say. Yeah, I know it's hard. But all that matters is getting Nanoha away from that dirt bag. I don't know. We've been apart for so many years, I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soap land. She can never find out, not ever. I'll pretend not to know for the rest of our lives if I have to. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Katsuragawa might bankrupt her and she'll end up right back at the soap land. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! Well... I guess I'll just have to use my ace in the hole. Huh? You've had a plan this whole time? I sure do. You introduce Nanoha to a guy who's better than her boyfriend. Then she'll drop that loser like a rock. No way. Her heart is a complete mystery. I mean, we're talking about a woman who fell in love with Katsuragawa. Hear me out. You bring in a shining stud that makes all the other dudes look like ass. I bet he'll catch her eye. Okay, but you're forgetting, I don't know any guys like that. Where do I find a stud? Come on, I'm sure he's closer than you think. Where? You're looking at him! <laughs> 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 
You think you're the dreamy type, Ichiban? That's even funnier than your hair. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Whew. If it helps, I definitely feel more cheerful about this now. <laughs> uh, good shit, then. Okay. What else can we do? There has to be something. Well, if you really don't think we can convince Nano how to dump them, I don't know. Uh... <sighs> Wait. We've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay away from Nanoha, not the other way around. How are you gonna do that? Beat him up and run him out of town? If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. But he probably isn't. Especially now that he knows Nanoha's willing to be his piggy bank. If we screw this up, he might even take her with him when he bails. I can't let that happen. I think what we gotta do is crush his pride. Like, get Nanoha to break up with him without shedding a single tear. As if he's nothing to her. And how do we do that? That's <laughs> so obvious, Sachan. Haven't you caught on yet? To what? You pretend to be Nanoha and break up with him. Use the twin angle to your advantage. Yeah. March in and tell Katsuragawa you never want to see him again. I'll stand there and look intimidating while you give him the boot. That'll have him running. I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa's hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls to start looking for him right away. Great. We wait for their word, and we move in for the kill. It'll go fine. I'll be right there with you to make sure he doesn't give you trouble. <laughs> it's a date. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. <laughs> she and her sister are a handful. It feels like we're finally gonna wrap this up. Yo, Adachi-san. Hey, Kasaga. Thanks for being there during the settlement the other day. Not a problem. Think of the story we can tell now. You playing a rich guy and me playing your secretary. I thought it suited us perfectly, to tell the truth. Now how about I buy you a meal? Hmm? Beef bowl sound good? Hell yeah! Let's go to Akuhushimaru! What should I get? The new special looks good, but there's also the old standby. Come on, when someone's treating you, you gotta go with just a standard beef bowl. Aw, oh, man, really? Well, at least let me get a large. Huh? Adachi-san, isn't that... Takashi? Hey, Taka- Back down, dumbass! If he sees me like this, he's gonna know I'm not rich. Right. Didn't think about that. Not to mention, a rich philanthropist and his secretary eating at a dingy little beef bowl joint looks pretty weird. Let's get out of here before Takashi sees us. What about the beef bowl? Next time. Hey. That's the con man. How's it going? Okay. Even though it was a bust, I still think that guy Yamada is a total sucker. We gotta try again. Come on. Just keep the pen pal thing with him going for now, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. 
We'll come up with a better plan. One that'll make us really rich. You think the two of them could be working together? Hey! What's going on here, Takashi? Y yamada san What are you guys doing here? Oh, we're getting beef bowls, cause we're broke. Now tell us what you're doing here. You're broke? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Yamada Moneybags was fake. I made it all up. I'm just a jobless old fart named Adachi. Huh? Surprise. Adachi-san was just pretending to be a high roller, so Takashi wouldn't feel bad taking his money. And this is your way of showing thanks? By taking everything I've got? Takashi, if I were you, I'd start apologizing. Adachi-san's not the only one getting pissed off right now. We're the ones who need an apology. You've been lying about all this money of yours, and now it turns out you're just some bum. You stay out of this. No, I'm gonna fuck you up now. Messing with us and stirring up a bunch of shit? You got it coming, man! Screw this. Time for me to kick your ass. Let's go out front. Show me what you got. Cool. Sorry. Do you have any idea what it's been like to be me these past 20 years? Hey, Kosuke. Takashi-kun? I just found this letter in my room. What's this about scraping a bumper and an out-of-court settlement? I don't remember anything about this. Crap. I can explain. Dude, did you pretend to be me to squeeze some money out of Yamada-san? I'm really, really sorry, man. Hang on a sec, you two. Let's get this cleared up. Yeah, seriously. This letter is the one I sent to Takashi, to set a date for the settlement. And you sent it to Takashi Kasumi, that's me. Are you serious right now? Then, who's this? He's my roommate, Kosuke. There was a time when we were both good students striving to become lawyers. Then Kosuke gave up on having a real career and started hanging out with some losers. My guess is they pressured him into impersonating me. He's not the type to stand up to people. <laughs> guess he would've made a crap lawyer. Look, all I did was mention that my roommate had some sweet-ass deal where rich guy sends him money every month. Hasegawa-san's the one who came up with the scam idea. I'm really sorry. I'd like to apologize as well, Yamada-san. Although, I guess I should just call you Detective Adachi. What? How did you know who I was? I've known for a while. Nobody else would have cared about me enough to support me all this time. But you... You fought for my father's innocence until the very end. You know about that? Yes. Even back then, I knew about it. Well... Then let me say now what I should have said then. I'm sorry I didn't save your dad, Takashi. Please, don't apologize. You've already helped me make sure that nobody else will suffer like my father did. Because... I passed the bar exam. You what? Really? You kicked that exam's ass? I did. They announced the results yesterday. Hot damn! That's great, Takashi! Really, really great! I owe it all to you. All your help over the years really made a difference. Now, well, if you ask me, it was worth every yen. But I don't want to keep leaning on you, so I ask that you let your most recent gift be the last. Sure! You don't gotta ask me twice. <laughs> Even though, you know, this time next month, I might be a little sad not to help you. Oh, then just keep sending it. 
After all, I could argue that you legally obligated yourself to keep doing it once you started. What? <laughs> it's just kidding. That's not real. And I should know. I'm a lawyer. It looks like Takashi couldn't pull the fast one on you, Adachi san. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just for a second there. Nice to see a kid achieve something so big. I mean, that's some real leveling up, becoming a lawyer. Yeah, God, Takashi must have worked his ass off. Ah, oh, he's a good kid, all right. Adachi-san, I think your kindness is what taught him to be good. Oh, I don't know. Even without my money, I'm sure he would have made his dreams come true one way or another. That's just the kind of guy he is. You know, he'll be a great lawyer. <laughs> he'll help a lot of people. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Thanks for everything, Kasuga. Come on, don't get all sentimental on me. I mean, it's just that, you know, we've gone through some, some shit together, you know, but in the end, it's, you know, good times. I'm glad we met each other. I really am. What a coincidence. I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> nice that the feeling's mutual. How about we celebrate Takashi passing the test a drink. Yeah, to great future lawyers and great former detectives. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>